Well, this week, this is a story I've been looking forward to. We here at CTV Atlantic are bidding farewell to two longtime colleagues as they move into retirement. Today is Earl Longfee's last day after 35 years at CTV Atlantic in Moncton and in Halifax. Congrats, Earl. Very much, yes. And yesterday marked the end of an era for us here as Pat Kennedy retired after an incredible 43 years behind the camera. Jason had the chance to take a walk down memory lane with Pat. Nobody accuses me of being a spring chicken anymore, but when Pat Kennedy started as a cameraman here at what was ATV at the time, uh, it was the same month, September 1975, that I had started school. And Pat, it's 43 years you've been here, and uh, today's the last day. Your, your thoughts uh, on the end of an era? Well, it's been a great ride. I mean, uh, as our viewers know, ATV, CTV Atlantic was the home for news for uh, all the Maritimes. We told wonderful stories. Uh, it was great to be part of the history of the Maritimes since 1975. Film, that's how you started shooting film? I started shooting film and there are probably some of our viewers out there that uh, also worked in film and uh, that, but yes, uh, time was of the essence then because you had to uh, shoot something, then it had to be processed, then it had to be physically edited, then it had to be basically ran upstairs from the basement up to Telecine where it was played back and uh, on the air. Uh, in the early, early days, uh, there wasn't even sound with the pictures. Uh, it was what we called silent, but uh, so things have changed a lot. We used to produce a lot of shows as well back in the day. Tell us uh, about a few of those. You did Up Home Tonight, Atlantic Grand Prix Wrestling. Well, I did, actually didn't do too much of uh, Grand Prix wrestling because I was uh, an outside film cameraman. Uh, you know, I certainly saw it. <laughs> it was happening in the studio opposite. But uh, yeah, uh, a lot of those uh, programs, uh, the uh, viewers will remember Atlantic AM, Atlantic PM. Uh, uh, we shot documentaries in the late 70s, harness racing. We took a trip through the, East, uh, through the Northwest Passage on the Louis Saint Laurent. Uh, we uh, we started shooting some documentaries on what was then called ENG, and that's when the germ for Up Home Tonight came. We did a documentary on uh, bluegrass music in the Maritimes uh, with Bluegrass 4, Ladies' Choice, uh, uh, those bluegrass bands in the Maritimes, and that evolved into Up Home Tonight with Gordon Stobie and the band and uh, Sugar Time, and then also had another uh, spur off of uh, New Faces, which uh, profiled up-and-coming uh, entertainment all through the Atlantic provinces. We traveled to Newfoundland at that time also. You got to see a lot of the world as well, didn't you? Is it true that you were there when the Berlin Wall came down? That's right. Uh, we were very fortunate. Uh, at the time, it was very common for our anchormen to go to where the news event was. I mean, there wasn't the technology there was today, so they actually sent a crew with the anchor to the event. I was very fortunate to go with Mark Campbell and Dave Wright uh, in, uh, when the Berlin Wall came down. It's still one of the most vivid memories of the history of this planet that, that is in my mind for sure. Pat's not just a cameraman, he's a terrifically talented cameraman. We're not the only ones that recognize it. You've worked a lot of Olympics too. Tell us about some of the Olympic Games. Well, I have been very, very fortunate uh, working five Olympics, uh, all based out of Halifax, which is, I may be unheard of because a lot of the people that work Olympics are based all across Canada, all around the world kind of thing. So we're very fortunate. Uh, I started in 1988 uh, in Olympic. We just did a uh, trial sport then. Uh, then it was aerials and ballet. Aerials has moved on. Ballet didn't make the cut. It's not in uh, um, uh, the Olympics today. But then uh, moved on. We went to uh, Barcelona. Uh, you know, I had the very, very good fortune of covering uh, the uh, rowing at the Barcelona, and that's when Canada really cleaned up. We got a lot of golds, and uh, Silk and Laman, uh, of course, uh, got the bronze there. Uh, worked in Lillehammer, uh, shot uh, hockey uh, there, worked in the gold medal game. Unfortunately, we lost. Uh, Forsberg kind of deked one in there in the shootout, and, uh, but, uh, and that was my shot. I was left net. I was in the corner right there, and he came right around with his arms up, you know, but it was the wrong team. So, uh, and then uh, very fortunate when CTV gained the rights to Vancouver, went to Vancouver, uh, did the opening and closing ceremonies there, and then went to London and shot rowing again. So uh, it, was, uh, it was very fortunate. I've been very, very fortunate. Are there aspects of this job you're going to miss? 
Very much so. I think, uh, you know, the one thing that you soon learn as a cameraman and actually working with uh, CTV in our newsroom is that uh, everyone's got a story. There's lots of stories in the Maritimes and uh, we have beautiful scenery. We have people that are so innovative in uh, how they live their life and uh, what they do that that's what I'm going to miss is actually uh, being out there meeting all those innovative Maritimers with stories to tell. One thing that's always bugged me about Pat though, he might be one of the older guys in this building, but he's also in better shape than anyone in the building. Uh, an accomplished triathlete, you still going to compete? Uh, yes, I am. As a matter of fact, uh, my big project this year is uh, I've, uh, two years ago I uh, did the big swim to PEI, but uh, weather didn't really uh, cooperate with us, so we swam down the New Brunswick course to, uh, co coast to uh, Murray Beach. So uh, this year uh, I'm swimming to PEI, and we're going to make it. <laughs> yeah, I know you're a proud grandfather too. Gonna, you and your wife going to spend some quality family time? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, you know, we have uh, three lovely grandchildren, and... Uh, you know, I can see at least two days a week with each family so that uh, every, everybody gets a, a little bit of a attention. Well, I know you're going to be active and you're going to get the most out of life. It's been a real pleasure and an honour and I'm, I'm really pleased I got a chance to do this interview with well, you. All thank the you, best Pete. to you, Pat. All thank the you. best. And thanks to all the viewers. I mean, uh, you've been fantastic. Oh, I miss him already. I do too. Oh, and I have to best. say, he's sitting there, you know, saying that every Maritimer has a story. Pat has, has a story. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of stories. He's uh, also an amazing athlete, an Ironman. He's like Swim a marathoner. He's, just, yep. he, he's probably one of the most amazing people that you'll ever get to meet, including an award-winning journalist, videographer. And uh, whenever, you know, you're assigned to Pat. Yes, you're uh, happy. You're like, oh, thank God. Thank God I've got Pat because yes. you know you're not going to walk away with anything less than excellence. So. He just has such a creative eye and he's just so kind. And yeah. anytime you get in the car and you're driving, it's never quiet. He's always yeah. up to share stories yeah. with you and he's just so encouraging. So that I appreciate so much, Pat. I really am going to miss yeah. you. The best of the best. Yeah. And it was a pleasure working with you and learning from you.